is the part of the hunting video where we talk about important stuff like the fact that we looked at the wind direction. It's going to be south, southeast, five to seven miles an hour this morning, picking up a little bit as the hunt will wind down. But ultimately, what we're going out there to do this morning is put a little meat in the freezer and get the track set up so that we can, we can start this young dog that we've been working with progressing with blood trailing. We are headed out early this morning. Early. It's not that early. Don't show the actual time. <laughs> Look at how early that is. Look at how early that is. By early, we're actually about 30 minutes late to get to the field. But one of my favorite things to do in the morning is wake up early because I got up early to get started and uh, it's earlier than the dogs wanted to get up. I get to walk over and say, flip the lights on and say, all right guys, it's time to get up. And they just give you that look like, mm, I'm still sleeping, which is normally what they like to do to you. You know, most people would say that their dogs wake them up in the morning. Sometimes I like to wake the dogs up. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for some some fatty dough action. We are completely out of a lot of things that we use out of the doughs. We are out of deer meat. I'm out of liver pieces to help blood trailing tracking. I'm out of hide chunks. So hopefully we cannot hit this deer running across the road here. Good deal. It's a good sign, deer moving, deer moving. So we get down on the tree. We're gonna be going out and working with Nix on his very first blood track. So we're gonna leave this here as our marker is where our deer was hit, standing right here basically. We know that it headed that direction. Um, we've already done a little bit of recon. It's gonna be important, especially with these first tracks, that we've got a pretty good idea that that deer is dead and where it's at so that we can help keep him on the track. Um, I've already gone out and found, we've got the deer about 80 yards or so from here, 80 to 100 yards. Um, I've got a couple places that I know where we'll be able to get him on actual visible blood. Um, all of these things are gonna be important when we get him out and help work him through this. We've gotta keep him tight on that track and help him be successful. Follow along and we'll show you what it looks like. So I walked the, the, the blood trail out. It was fairly easy. Uh, which will be a great first track for him. Came right up in here and it's somewhere about where these cedars are. So I just walked it one time. We wanna leave as little, absolute little scent as possible. Um, but if you think about what he's gonna be prepared to do, um, that's gonna be, we've spent some time looking for the deer. We've come up with nothing or we've gotten stuck 
at a specific spot and we can't figure out where that deer went from there and he's going to have to come in and be able to differentiate between all of those scents so it's not that abnormal for us to have a little bit of our scent along his deer track but we don't want to dirty it up too much that's the whole point of him being able to track these deer um, but it should be somewhere about here uh, approximately 30 40 yards into the woods so we're going to take him back over here it'll be about a hundred 150 yard track so when we've been doing Nix's tracks, we start them with an arrow. Um, this is to simulate what we've got right here. We've got an arrow stuck in the ground, shows that we hit the deer, um, and it's a great place to actually start him off at. Now, he moves these tracks pretty fast, so there won't be a whole lot of talking as we go. We'll just try and keep up with him. Um, we just have to keep him on lead and try and keep him in the general direction that I know that that deer went, because I've already, like I said, walked it out one time. So, ready? Right here. Right here. Right here. Good. Track. Now we know that it didn't go back there into the woods, so we're going to help him to stay on where we know it went. He's checking things out. Pretty much only allowing him to advance the direction that we know that it went. We see an acknowledgement here. I know that the deer moved right down this trail. You see him come off of that and come back. It's pretty much right on where we watched her run off here. Off of it again. Check cords. Come on, bud, this way. There you go. You can tell how focused he is. Here's another acknowledgement. A deer came right through here. He's trying to figure out where, putting all of those pieces together. This isn't a constant, steady stream of scent. Good, come on. Get a big acknowledgement right here. There's quite a bit of blood, it's clotted a little bit. This will be a really easy place to help direct him where that deer went. Good job, buddy. Got some more blood and deer hair here. Come on, this way. We've got blood up in here. Come on. 
Putting the last of the pieces together here. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. And that's a perfect first track. You can see that this uh, long line is a little bit cumbersome, but we do have to keep him on a long lead. Um, by the Kansas state laws, you have to check your individual laws as far as that goes, but that's why it's important too to make sure that we don't come up on a live deer, something that's still kicking too much. We don't want it to scare him. Uh, we give him the opportunity to check things out and you know, chew on the deer a little bit. That's not a bad thing. It's all, <laughs> we usually play with hide drags. So him wanting to drag the deer around a little bit, it's not a bad thing. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now we'll get this thing tagged, loaded up and have some back straps for dinner. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We just finished up this first blood trail with Nick's. He did an awesome job, especially for his first time with this. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this or continue to follow his progress, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more videos just like this. Mm -hmm.